Um, a good place to start, I guess, is that the film is uh, kind of deeply rooted in Mexican mythology. Um, and, you know, all three of you were born and raised in Mexico. So I wanted to kind of uh, get your perspective, I guess, on growing up with either these tales, whether they were tales or legends, how they kind of fed your childhood up into who you are now and whether or not you, you know, kind of took stock in them or you kind of just saw them as, well, they're just, they're just stories people, people tell and, and they are what they are. Well, we have many traditions in Mexico and my family in particular, they're very traditional. So um, I remember very much so the, uh, the day of the dead, El Dia de Muertos. And we used to go to the cemetery, uh, literally, to go, uh, you know, with our dead people there and, put, you know, offer food, their favorite food, their favorite drinks, uh, their favorite music, which is most of the time mariachi, and, and just celebrate their death, you know, because remembering. There, there's remembering and having them still in our heart because that's the way you can keep them, to, you know, close to you. So, it, and altars in my house, always. They, they would put altars and the pictures of the dead, you know, family. Same with me, we would used to clean my grand, grandfather's grave and then go to the market, talk to him, pray. Uh, we didn't get music, we, were not, we couldn't afford it. But, <laughs> but then we would go to the market and buy sugar skulls, candy skulls. But we also mixed in the movie Greek mythology, Orpheus and Eurydice, Mayan, a Mayan legend mm -hmm. of the twins that go to, to, through the underworld, and so on and so forth, and then Jorge's autobiography. I, I've always been kind of obsessed with Day of the Dead, and it's been a holiday that's very, very dear to my heart. I even got married on Day of the Dead, so <laughs> I could invite not only you know my living relatives, but those who are no longer with us, and I wanted my best man to be someone who passed away when I was very young to be there. Uh, but it's, you know, now that I know and live in Mexico, we basically brought the holiday with us. So uh, every November 2nd, we built altars to all our, our family that are, is not there anymore. Unfortunately, my son is five years old and he thinks Day of the Dead is every day because we just have so <laughs> many skulls and candles in our house. Um, the film also takes kind of this unique perspective on heroism uh, and, and what, a, what a true hero, I guess, is. And, um, you know, obviously you've worked in other projects uh, that, that kind of deal with, I guess, what Hollywood would view as a more conventional type of hero um, that the film kind of pokes fun at a little bit uh, with Joaquin. Do you have kind of, I guess, elements that you try to instill upon what you find a hero to be um, kind of consistently, I guess, through, through every project, even if they, they differ as far as, you know, what they look like, what they do, that you feel at the heart that's what a hero needs to have uh, contained with it? Well, we, we wanted him to be humble, and we wanted his superpower to be able to apologize and be emotional, which is not the most... Uh, testosterone fueled superpower. <laughs> yeah. but, but, uh, but Jorge and I enough, women that. love it. Yeah, no, and, and I think that you, you tell children in, in, in an era where you have to be hardcore, cynical, sort of um, ironic, detached, you know, those are the cool values. We, the movie celebrates emotion. And I think we, we always say the most punk rock thing you can do these days, the most rebellious thing you can do is be earnest. And emotional, and, yeah. And let your feelings out. And there's nothing more attractive for a woman that to see those things in a man. <laughs> to be honest, yeah, instead of being a hero, you know, and, and also what Joaquin happens is that he wants to be like his father, you know, and, and my, sorry, Manolo, that he needs to be like his father, and this need of being like, you know, because in Mexico the families are so united that you want to look up to your father, and you want to be like your father and please your parents. And not all the time is exactly what you really want in your heart, so... Well, let me ask uh, just a quick follow-up with that because, you know, obviously the film also touches upon kind of writing your own story, following in uh, the footsteps of your parents or trying to step out of uh, the shadow of your parents and, and kind of creating your own life. Did you ever f have um, kind of experiences? I mean, you, you obviously, I mean, you, I mean, you, come, from, you come from that, uh, you know, and, and stepping in, especially in being um, in the same industry uh, as your, I mean, but did you have any kind of, did you find it, it kind of difficult, I guess, to kind of 
carve your own way to, to being really your own. I've been always really insecure um, uh, in many, many ways, but um, I never wanted to say that I wanted to be an actress because I didn't know if I could be able to support myself with, you know, and, and make a living out of it because that's the only thing that we know now. You know, we have no other business, so it's been hard. But for me to say I really want to be an actress, it was really hard, and I started, you know, studying different things that were not in my heart, but I just did it just in case the other thing didn't go well and but my father didn't actually wanted me to be an actress he didn't stop me but he didn't push me because he said that we will like women also we always suffer a lot sentimentally and he was right <laughs> <laughs> my father was famous for his giant belly and I endeavored myself to top him <laughs> and, uh, I, have, I have endeavored myself I think I'm doing pretty good in the race. I'm in the, it's a race <laughs> Yeah, he, he says he cannot see the shoes. I cannot see the shoe shine boy. So I'm already, <laughs> already two times ahead. Well, for me, for me the, the, you know, the, the movie is, is sort of a love letter to all those kids who want to be artists or musicians and who have to deal with the pressure of the whole world telling them, you're not going to make it and you should try something else. And, and that's what happened to me. That's what happened to my father. And so it's a, it's a story that I saw everywhere. With everybody who worked on the crew, they all have a story of how they ended up working as an artist. And mm -hmm. so it's a love letter to that struggle. Thank you guys very much. Aww. Oh, it was getting good. <laughs> <laughs> we were getting there. <laughs>